welcome to the BBC documentary The Life of Paul Lawson. The Man, The Myth, The Legend. Tonight we will be chronicling the life of one of America's most beloved individuals. So sit back and enjoy the show. Lawson, was born in Providence, Rhode Island, in 1931. Right from birth he showed a stylish flair. One day, he discovered one of his toys were missing. When he found out it was his friend, baby-faced Murphy, he promptly let him have it. In grade school, Paul did so well, that there was even talk about a career in politics. Paul wanted to serve his country in the armed forces though. So anchors away it was. While on leave from the Navy, Paul walked into a five and dime. Then, walked out, with the love of his life. Her name was Marilyn Ellsbury. They were married in 1953. They bought their first automobile. They had a child. They bought a house, a dog, a motor home, and went on vacation. Then his lovely wife said, Now Paul, it's time to look for a job. Instead of getting a real job, he decided to try his hand at politics. This is a photo of him giving a speech at the Ladies Republican Voters Society. He ran a very controversial campaign. Against conventional wisdom, he used children for campaign staff. He even recruited Santa as spokesperson. He appointed Cheryl, his niece as campaign manager. He appointed his daughters, Paula, press secretary, Eileen as chief researcher, Helen as speechwriter, and Marilyn, who was in charge of having fun. Even though the media loved him and was named Man of the Year by Time magazine, he was still defeated in a close race. On election night as the results came in, we have his daughter Marilyn trying to comfort him. yourself go go Hertz class with a new Chevrolet or other fine car you'll see things you've never seen before do things you've never done before Hertz lets you change the pace completely go where you want when you want if you wish take up to 20 months to pay with the new Hertz revolving credit plan so why hold yourself back you get a rest while Hertz does the rest With encouragement from his wife, Paul tried his hand at inventing. 
His first invention was the edible diaper. He invented the fishbowl hat. Then there was his culinary creation. French toast Twinkies. Paul came up with a method for women to carry washing machines. And last but not least, Paul had the brilliant idea of placing hand sanitizer at the entrance of the church. Watch as this method is demonstrated by a church worker. I don't know, at my church they have these two hand sanitizer stations right by the front door greeters. That is not a good message. <laughs> people come in on Sunday, how you doing? Nice to see you all. It's good to see you. Thanks for coming. You're going to love it here. We just love people. You can just be yourself. You can just be yourself. We don't care. We don't judge you. We just love. You sit back and whatever questions you have, you let us know. We'll let you know whatever we can do for you, okay? Y'all newly married? You got four kids? Four kids. That is amazing. God love. We love kids here. Kids are like a little gift from God is what they are. They are just wonderful little creatures that God gives us. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Where are y'all from? Arkansas? Okay. Paul Lawson had a fine career as a postman. In this rare footage, we see Paul happily delivering the mail. While in the postal service, Paul had a reputation for driving aggressively and with purpose. He was dedicated to getting the mail out, no matter what the cost. This would sometimes get him into trouble, especially in bad weather. Here we see Paul playing hopscotch with the neighborhood children. Paul developed a method for dealing with angry dogs. At a precisely determined time, he would turn on the windshield wipers. This would cause the dog to be confused. Some consider this to be brilliant. This method didn't always work. The one thing Paul always enjoyed about his job was the afternoon nap. In a recent interview, President George Bush Sr. had these words to say about his good friend Paul Lawson. I remember when I went up to Washington uh, to do something, I forget what it was, and he heard I was going with Jeb, incidentally. He's a decent, decent man. Well, he'd been very pleasant to me, personally, very. And, uh, yeah, he's a reasonable guy. I'm a little shocked. <laughs> In this rare interview, a Tikaboo. Abu Bakr had this to say about Paul Lawson. Tyson. 我在中国长大 I've got a lot of friends who say he lights up a room when he comes in He's got a fine personality, he's friendly He's an extremely handsome man as his father was He was a good guy, he was with his, his wife Who's still his best girl, you can tell He seems like a, uh, 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 a nice guy He seems like a smart guy, he's whip smart Do I dig everything about him? No, but here's the thing on
Paul Lawson's life inspire the Broadway musical. This musical was entitled A Day in the Life of Paul Lawson. This rare footage was found on YouTube. This concludes our documentary, The Life of Paul Lawson. The Man, The Myth, The Legend. Be sure to tune in next week, as we chronicle, The Life of Winston Churchill. <laughs>